great morning to you guys. Good morning. <clears throat> good morning, good morning to you guys. Good morning, great morning. How's everybody doing? I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News and America's Moist. Good morning to everybody. God bless my country of Mexico, my city of Tijuana, and God bless the United States of America. Today is Thursday, 2020 of the month of January. Today, I don't remember. <laughs> Good morning to everybody. God bless everyone. Hope that you guys are doing great. And we're almost there till Friday. Caravan update for everybody that is watching, observing, and absorbing all this information. Caravan update. Uh, I'm not going to go to detail with the WhatsApp messages and the Facebook groups. Uh, that is just information that I gather so I can uh, you know, collaborate with other uh, people in Tapachula in Guatemala. And also I can get that so I can uh, enrich myself a little bit and we can go to the hard topics. Uh, follow Cindy Gomez Shemp as she is the one that is doing a lot of info, uh, investigation on the WhatsApp groups and also on the Facebook groups. Follow Cindy Gomez and Duke Gomez Follow them as they are doing uh, a lot of investigation on this WhatsApp and, and uh, Facebook groups of the caravan, of the caravan. Uh, we are getting information on how they're moving, uh, where they going, what days are going to be staying, uh, how they're going to cross, is Mexico and is Mexico and Guatemala going to stop them? And this is this is what is happening right now, people. As you guys know, uh, yesterday I did a live feed saying a special bulletin saying on which day they were going to be arriving to Guatemala. They are going to arrive to Guatemala today, and all of them today as they are staying or right now they just arrived to Guatemala this morning as they are going to stay there for the rest of the day and walk all the way Friday to the park of Ayutla that is the the park that I that uh, we have broadcast from that park remember that I went to Guatemala and I broadcast from the park of Ayutla that that park is the one that they practically stay the majority of the time that they are traveling from there, they are going to cross through the Suchiate one or through the uh, water rafts. Uh, approximately, they are saying that a number between 15 to 2,000 people, they want to keep on walking in Mexico, in Tapachula, that they are awaiting for the caravan. So there are migrants that they are awaiting in the caravan in Tapachula. The number of migrants that they are waiting for their uh, visa or transit in Tapachula, it's a lot. It's between 6,000 to 10,000 people. Now they gave me the around the correct number. They will give it to me today in the afternoon. It is a lot. But the majority of them want to do their things legally and they want to migrate correctly. Now, they're saying an estimated number that is between 2,000 to 2,500, uh, 15 to 2,000 to 2,500 from there. That margin between 2,500 and 2,000. Uh, they are waiting for them uh, in in uh, Tapachula for the caravan. They are waiting for the other caravan so they can join. So if you get the caravan that is coming from uh, Guatemala that is between 1,200 people, and this one that is between 1,500 to 2,000, to 2, you're gonna get a caravan between 3,000 people that they are going to be 
uh, move-in in Mexico. Now, the number that I gave from six, six to 10,000 are people that they are waiting for the visa of transit in Tapachula, Mexico. These people did not come in the caravan. They have been coming in the caravan in past, you know, migration movements. So, the big question right here, is Guatemala going to let them in? And is Mexico going to stop them? First of all, let me give you the ideology of every person that is in this country. The president of Guatemala spoke in the conciliar uh, for Mexico for international relations, that is, uh, Marcelo Ebrard also spoke yesterday. And both of them, they are from the idea that migration is a right and it's not a privilege. So, <clears throat> given the fact on that statement, the president of Guatemala said, we are going to do inspection points in our country. We are going to inspectioning children that they are with their paternal father or mother. And also, we are going to be screening documents to see if they are migrating correctly with the, per, the, the proper documents. What does this mean, people? It means that they are going to be searching for possibly uh, human traffickers, child trafficking, human smugglers, and child smuggling. And also, that they want to do this migration as correct, as peaceful, and as uh, organized and with documents in hand that they are from that particular person. The Consulier of Mexico, Marcelo Ebrat, spoke and he said this, we welcome everybody that wants to migrate. Also, the President of Mexico, before I go to the Consulier, the President of Mexico said this, we are going to help our brothers in Central America and we are going to be organized in this, uh, we're going to be organized for these people to come and help them. Now, this opened up for Marcelo Ebrard, the Consulier of Mexico. The Consulier of Mexico spoke and he said, yes, there is going, there is a caravan coming. Yes, we are going to let them in, but they need to come with the doc, we need to come with documents, the proper documentation, and also enter the country legally and in an orderly fashion. So, for people that they are wondering why they don't stop them, the reason why they don't stop them, people, is because we have this talk long time, and it's, re and it's repeating the same thing. The reason they don't stop them is because Mexico signed this United Nations Pact of Immigration. One, and because the president of Mexico and also uh, also the uh, the president of Guatemala, they think that the immigration is a right, it's not a privilege. So everybody can migrate. Meanwhile, they're doing it correctly and legally. I am from the idea that you can migrate to whatever planet, in whatever place, <laughs> whatever planet, whatever place you want in the planet, legally and correctly, legally and correctly. I don't have a problem with legal migration. I have a problem with child smuggling and human smuggling, child trafficking and human trafficking. I have a huge problem with that. I'm totally against that. Now, let's see that Let's see if uh, this operations that they're doing, let's see if the National Guard it is going to work as it worked in the last caravan. Let's see if uh, the National Guard from Guatemala is going to be uh, stopping them also. Let's see if the National Guard from Mexico does their inspection points and does everything that it needs to be done. Let's see if that, let's see if they do that. And let's see if these people come in peacefully, documented and with a purpose. Uh, also, the most important thing in these WhatsApp groups that Cindy has been showing and all these Facebook groups that Cindy has been showing, 
it comes one thing to uh, you know one thing to the fact they are really strategical now they know they know and that it's really a ridiculous factor that nobody <laughs> is doing anything about it is it, they don't have no shame they already know they say take care of take care of the women take care of them you know protect them because they know that they're as soon as they get over here to a border they can create a fake marriage and also uh also as as long as they create a fake marriage uh cross illegally with cheating a loophole to the united states also they know that take care of the children uh why are they saying take care of the children they know that as soon as they get to the border if you cross illegally with the child that is not yours you have potentially a great uh ultimately you have a potential to get the asylum they also know that now what is the number one thing that is really important right here the number one thing that is really important is that the national guard of mexico and the national guard of the guatemala uh police and also uh every authority from guatemala and every authority from mexico they need to be screening all these people that they are instigating all these activists that they are instigating the caravan all these radicals that they are in the caravan why because as soon as the caravan is moving peacefully uh quote unquote peacefully from every country there's always radicals and instigators that they round out they run round up more people so they can move more massively so they can move in better and larger groups so they can start you know in a way uh instigating more the people so they can uh not respect the laws in the process of immigration on every country these are the things that you know the mexican government needs to watch out that is the priority needs to watch out also they need to put attention particularly to the child trafficking that that is a huge thing right now in our country of mexico as mexico is number three in the world for child trafficking it's amazing so we need to stop that we need to stop that uh unfortunately people for the people in the united states of america that they are wondering if this is going to get stopped no it's not we have been repeating this since last year i told you since last year i've been telling you this is not going to stop until mexico leaves this demonic and evil pact from the united nations that permits migrants to risk their lives around the world as long as mexico is in this irresponsible pact of immigration these massive movements of migrants they are going to coexist now what are the other complications that they can happen with this immigration process this is what is going to happen they cross to the united states if they cross illegally they're going to get deported and who's the one that is going to suffer for maintaining them and taking care of them mexico and the borders borders like juarez borders like tijuana borders like mexicali borders like san Luis rio colorado borders like coahuila borders like nuevo leon borders like tamaulipas borders like laredo nuevo laredo all of these borders they are going to be the ones that they're going to be suffering because of the irresponsibility of this immigration pact that it doesn't know how to affects economically and also financially everybody in every border it affects it affects humongously now <clears throat> information that we're getting is that as as for tomorrow uh the caravan will be arriving in mexico that is our day that we need to see if they are going to be staying passively in one place why i say passively because it's their strategy they stay passively they don't say anything but right there when their caravan is staying when they are sleeping there's always guys that they are in charge of groups and that's when the coyotes start coming that's when all these other organizations start infiltrating that's when they start offering i can cross you with this money i can cross you with this amount 
take me, just move me this back to this state, and I, you already pay your debt. You know, all those kind of things they're going to be start to happen. That is where Mexican authorities need to be really meticulous, meticulously searching people and putting a security factor around those situations and around those immigration packs. So, are they, the question from everybody in the United States of America, are they going to stop them? No. Why? Because Marcelo Ebrard and also the president of Mexico and the president of Guatemala, they are a third world secure country. What does this mean, a third world secure country? This means this, that every country that is declared by the United Nations that they are third, the, there are that they are a third world secure country, automatically they are uh, capable of receiving migrants, maintaining them, taking care of them, and giving them comfort. Meanwhile, they they migrate to the place that they want to migrate. All of them, and it is a ridiculous thing. All of them, they want to go to the United States. I don't know why. Nobody has told them about the United Nations Pact because they want to dismantle the United States. That's what they want to do. They don't. Nobody has told them about Canada. Now, Canadian authorities, they are receiving migrants. And also, Canadian authorities, they know that they are in the United Nations Pact of Immigration. But nobody is putting a big sign over here that says you can migrate through Canada. Wait on your country so they can fly you all the way to Canada. It is amazing how every, 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 every country that is migrating, they want to go to the United States. It is a ridiculous idea. The United States is not in the United Pact of Immigration. They are not taking migrants massively you want to seek the asylum it's okay everybody can seek the asylum wait for a number but the problem is that the problem is that when they're they're they take they're, they're trafficking children they're cheating on loopholes of immigration that is the problem so in conclusion people is mexico going to stop them no because they are from the idea that immigration is a right is not a privilege so that means that and also they violate the rules and laws now because our constitution is tied this is the amazing thing this is what destroys constitution the united nations destroys the constitution of every country it, it abolished our constitution why because now the constitution it does not give value to the article 33 of the constitution article 33 says that every foreigner that comes and brings politics or disrupts our uh, our country, it's practically, uh, it's going to get expelled from our country. How many in the caravan have done that? A lot. And the United Nations Pact abolish our, our Article 3, uh, 33 of our Constitution. Ridiculously. It is a ridiculous factor. So now we're tied to the, to the United Nations Pact in our constitution is not that valuable. This is what happens, people. And this is what the, con the United Nations are doing. This is what the United Nations are doing. This is why the United Nations, nobody stop funding the United Nations, stop funding, stop giving them money, stop the United Nations. Let's abolish the United Nations, really, with, un with this global pacts. And a reminder for everybody that is watching, a reminder, I'm going to keep reminding people, the Global Pact of Education, it's coming on the 14th of May of 2020, and it is, and I'm gonna sound like a commercial, it's sponsored by the Vatican and the Pope. Watch out for that, watch out for that. Amazing, the United Nations doing all these Global Pacts, and also they're trying to create another one, the Global Pact of Environment. Watch out for that also. It's amazing. Amazing, people. Good morning to everybody. I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News at America's Voice. How's everybody doing? Hope that you guys are doing great. Hope that this information that I'm giving you guys helps in a way 
so you guys can you know go on your laptop or your computer or your phone and Google information and you can find it out uh, <clears throat> we are you know just waiting uh, for information from our journalists from our sources really good people uh, with a lot of experience in journalism Carlos Lopez and Sergio uh, from uh, Guatemala Uh, and uh, we are just waiting for them to give us information for you guys to have it uh, firsthand. So uh, good morning to everybody. God bless you. God bless you. You know, in these particular moments, people, uh, we need to stay calm, but we need to be alert. And the United States Customs and the United States Border Patrol needs in the Department of Homeland Security needs to be alert on child trafficking on human smuggling they need to be alert on the fake marriages they need to be alert on you know on on the human trafficking they're already alert but they need to be more alert and also on the fake marriages you know do do an investigate do an investigation you know handle an investigation see if they are you know married because of the the you know what people get married for you know but find out the process if the process was done correctly and who did the process and investigate who who what or what lawyer got them married or which organization and all that find the source amazing people uh, oh my god how much mexico can take man and how much mexicans can take and a lot of people say like oh why does why did the mexican people do not rise against you know the immigration uh uh the the uh the caravans why did they don't defend themselves why same exact question i will ask to the american people why do american people do not rise against the democrats and why you know the democrat agenda is affecting every the worldwide is affecting democrat agendas are affecting worldwide because they're socialists and they're communists it's not why the mexican people is not why the american people is not why some other people from other country is we the people that we are against socialism and the people that we are against communism and the people that we are against child trafficking and human smuggling we together we need to rise and stop it's not why mexican people it's not why the american people it's not why people from you know i don't know argentina people is we the people that we know consciously that human smuggling human trafficking fake marriages and all fake families and all these people that we are against that we need to be together and fight, sharing information, exposing information, sharing it through the authorities. That's what we need to do. That's what we need to do because people, you know, the left is growing. It's not just the left in the United States. <coughs> It's the left on every socialist country. The left in Venezuela is growing. The left in Nicaragua is growing. The left in Argentina is growing. The left in Chile, man. I just talked to my uh, my colleague over there, Carlos de Contracultura in Chile, that I did an interview, and I'm going to do an interview uh, today with him uh, to talk about, you know, the caravan that is coming uh, for people in Spanish. Uh, but this guy, he's a fantastic independent journalist, uh, Carlos from Contracultura. And uh, my God, the left in Chile has de has defeated the right. The right in Chile does not exist. And people don't understand that they're using their victimization. Uh, politicians are using victimization card for citizens to understand that they've been victimized their whole lives. Meanwhile, socialism is entering. The left is growing. And we are, we are thinking, why do Mexican people don't do this? Why do the Americans don't kick out Democrats? Why do Mexican people don't stop the caravan? And meanwhile, the left is working together on every country and destroying countries. So we, as the right, we on the right wing, we need to stay together. 
and we need to expose and we need to fight against all these people that they have a, a they have a they don't have a brain all these congress women Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, Veronica Escobar uh, uh, what is the other one my god man they are something Rashida Tlaib, Veronica Escobar, Ilhan Omar and Alexandria Ocasio all of these four get them out of your congress because those are the ones that they're pushing for open borders and those are the ones that we understand that there's a problem but they don't understand that this this pushing the open borders is causing more problems not only in the united states across the globe because they are for the united nations they are soros puppets they're a puppet of soros and they are there in your government like our president, AMLO, he's a puppet of Soros. This is what we need to do. If the left is uniting, the right needs to unite also. So we can fight it. And then worry about our country, your law, your immigration law, your land. Let's work it. Let's fight corruption together. God, how's everybody doing? Good morning to everybody. God bless everybody. Uh, it's been fantastic talking to you guys. I'm um, getting right here to the ha, ah, <laughs> to the office to work. Thank you so much for watching me. Uh, uh, God bless everybody. Thank you so much. I want to say thank you to uh, to everybody that has been following our page. My God, we're going almost on 21,000. Thank you so much. My God, man. You guys are you guys are phenomenal. You guys are great. We stay humble. We stay working. We stay focused. And we stay professional to give you guys the reality and the truth about the news. Also, follow my partner, Conservative Anthony, as he's running for Congress in District 16 of El Paso. Uh, he's trying to do his best, man. He's a great guy. Also, uh, don't forget, go to Jim Bemby's page, Jim Bemby. Uh, the political prisoner, Jim Bemby, political prisoner. Go to Jim Bemby's page. There's a GoFundMe to support him, man, for his court. Uh, go over there and try to help him out. Just, you know, whatever is possible. It doesn't need the, the amount of the quantity. It doesn't matter. Go help Jim Bemby as he's trying to fight the corruption of the open border mafia over there in New Mexico and in El Paso and Texas, you know, and now he's going to court because of that. Uh, just, you know, there he's and his page. He has a GoFundMe. If you guys want to, uh, want to help him out, there is this GoFundMe on his page. God bless everybody. Blue, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Grace Rodriguez. Uh, send you a big hug. Uh, God bless everybody. Uh, you know what? The hell with it. I got five minutes. Uh, if you guys, if you guys want, uh, you guys want to ask me a question, I got five minutes for you guys. Most of the people are still not understanding how bad it is. Yes, Janice. Uh, they're not understanding how bad it is and how, no, not understanding how bad it is. They're not understanding how bad it's going to get. Because bad, we already in it. But how bad is it going to get? My God, it's going to get worse. That's why in 2018, I was telling every, uh, 2019, I was telling everybody, this is not going to stop. Don't surprise yourselves. And as you see, it is a continuous fluency of a big amount of migrants. Uh, Thomas Montoya says, thank you for keeping us informed. Blessings, Blue. Also, I want to say a quick shout out to follow Sandra Lee Witten and District 28 of, uh, of Texas. Support her as she is running for Congress. Excellent woman, excellent mother, uh, excellent family uh, figure. Uh, you know, excellent worker, excellent everything. Those are the kind of people that you guys need to get into Congress. Young, hungry. They want it. They want it. They want to do something for their country. They have it in their blood. They really want it. They got that hunger in their eyes. You guys need that. The eye of the tiger. You guys need that. And Sandra Lee Wynn has that. You know, go and support Sandra Lee Wynn. Follow her page as she is running for District 28 of Texas. Send a big hug to her if she's watching. Uh, <clears throat> Lisa Rene Palacio, if we would, uh, okay, let me uh, let me just see right here, Lisa Rene. If we would have showed up by the millions, Jim Bambi would have stopped. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for speaking out. God bless you and protect you and your family. Thank you so much, Cheryl Garrison. Thank you so much. God bless you too. 
I think I'm getting a little bit sick. <clears throat> Who else? Question, everybody. Questions, Q&A. Jess, put the normal people in Congress. <laughs> normal people. Put human beings in Congress. <laughs> Uh, the USMCA will be begging for forming something similar to the European Union. Yes. Oscar, is Mexico working with Guatemala on the newest migrant caravan? Yes, they are, Michelle. And they're working as, you know, to get them uh, to inspection the paperwork and all the things that they need to cross legally and peacefully to every country. Yes, they're working. Maida Santos, thank you, Blue. Have a nice day. Blessings. Blessings to you, Maida. Q and A, everybody, anybody, another question? Uh, shout out to Marjorie Green, uh, running for Congress in Georgia. Oh yeah, Marjorie, <laughs> I haven't talked to her in a long time. Last time that we were talking, we were talking on the phone and we were discussing about uh, some political issues uh you know i want to say uh hi to marjorie if you're if you ever watch the uh live feed marjorie how you doing uh i know you watch them uh you know here and there but you're really busy uh send a big hug to marjorie green as she's running for congress in georgia you're gonna do great you know you're you're almost there marjorie and you're gonna be a, a great congresswoman we know that you love your country so much All right, everyone. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a blessing talking to you guys. I send you guys a humongous hug to every single one of you. Take care of yourselves. If we have an update, I will come here as soon as possible and give you guys, you know, the information that is needed. God bless everybody. Stay safe and always remember peace and love, everybody, because always your country's first. <laughs>